Letting her rip when the fish wants to run, Lee has himself 12 pounds of beautiful salmon on that tiny rod. This one goes back to the river to spawn and to fight again someday. And now it's down the lovely, lonely Miramichi to hunt more adventures with Salar, the lox that leaps. Anglers, and many bring their families, come back to this river year after year. There are no telephones, power lines, or roads. Just rugged cabins here and there along the bank. They come for the sure pleasure of being away from the world and in the hope of just a few of those golden great days when the memory of the salmon fishing will rank with the memory of weddings, a birthday, or a child come home from far away. Some of the camps have strange names that will stay in the memory, too. Cookie may be a resident or just passing through, but his art is strictly with the culinaries. That barbershop sign is just a gag. This is a place you just let it grow. He's got something else on the fire, however, and it isn't a shave and a haircut. This is the real, genuine New Brunswick smoked salmon. Salmon fresh from the river, planked, and put in the smokehouse for three to five days. There's nothing else like it. A quiet sleep and a frosty September morn. At least there's a faint resemblance between that gal on the calendar and Lee. They both look chilly. Long Johns or no Long Johns. The salmon is a funny fish. At times, it takes only the tiniest flies. At others, only huge creations of fur, fuss, and feathers. And all the time, it isn't even hungry. For after leaving the sea, where it spends a year or more, it doesn't eat until it has gone sometimes hundreds of miles up its native river and spawn. Yet, because it is ornery, or likes to play, or something we don't know about, it will sometimes grab a fly flicked out there like this. And when it does, brother, watch out. This is when the rod strain is greatest. This fish is a comedian, right between Lee's legs. Now he's got him, and he's got him by the tail. It's a grills, a small or young salmon. For Lee, the sport is in the catching, not the eating. Back goes this game chap to the water. And while Lee exchanges a few bits of salmon law with Pearlie, whoops, they're sneaky. This one's tough. Lee has to follow downstream to keep from losing his line. It's a foot race with a fish now, and into deep water. If this fella has a mind to, he can use the current to snap the leader, or even the rod. And you can believe it or not, he has a mind to. Lightly, gently, Lee brings him to net. A 15-pounder on a tiny toothpick rod. That's what makes those golden memories for the Atlantic salmon angler when he ties into the king of them all. Salmo Salar, the leaper. <laughs> 